hello friends welcome back on today's video i am going to show you how to make this ribbon wreath and today is day two of my 12 days of christmas guys if you're going to do this you're going to first need a wire wreath i got this from the dollar tree and they're only a dollar and it's approximately 14 inches now put this under a cardboard white cardboard so that you can see it so you will need a 14 inch and some are bigger and that's fine and here guys i'm going to show you how to do the reef now it's according to what size you have i have some approximately like eight eight and a half and probably nine and if that's too big you can cut it down some but just remember you're gonna have to have enough fabric to make a knot now i'm just redoing this because some of the footage i had on my other phone or my husband phone and I couldn't get it on my phone, so I had to do this little part over. And these are just some scrap pieces I had. And I'm just measuring each side. Now, I don't have a craft board, guys. But if anyone knows where I could get the big, large craft board, please comment in the comment box. So you can still use a rule if you don't have a craft board to measure your materials. thank you so much guys for watching my videos and i know i haven't got back to a lot of you yet but i have seen it and i will come back and come back and support your channel too because i do like to support others so please if you like these christmas videos and i hope that you're getting something good out of these christmas videos Remember guys, as you cut your ribbon, make sure you cut all the ribbon that you need. Make sure you're cutting your ends because you want to make sure when you tie it that you have beautiful ends on the end. And where from the wise, it will be so much easier if you cut up all your ribbon first for each section, then put it on. It's a process guys, but it, it's well worth it, trust me. And you don't have to just use ribbon, you can use material too. And as you look at the reef, guys, it's separated by each section. There's a little bar that divides it. So do it by each section. What I did, I started to the bottom. I did two rows at the bottom. You can do two or three at a time or the same type or mix it up. It, it just according to your preference. And just tie it. That's all you have to do. And when you get through, just, you know, begin to fluff it out as you fold up that row. And just work on one row at a time. Make sure you stay in one section at a time. So I'm just showing you just a little example of what I did because, like I said, I couldn't get the regular footage of showing you how I did it. But if you try this, trust me, it's going to be well worth it.
And when you do this, guys, make sure before you move on that that section that you just did is full and it'll make it so much easier. And these are the ribbons that I use, guys. This roll here is from the Dollar Tree. And these next two rolls are from Sam's Club and they were only $6.98. And guys, it's a lot of ribbon for $6.98. So if you guys got a Sam's Club, go over there and get those ribbon. Or a Costco Club, I'm telling you. Go grab that ribbon. It's well worth it. And see how pretty that blue and gold is? But only thing about that brown or that tan color, it shedded a lot of glitter. So I hope that I'm helping you guys. And I hope that I'm explaining this enough for you that maybe one day you might try it. All right guys, I hope this is making sense to you and it's really easy. And then next I made this little bowl and I put a little jewelry on it because I wanted to put something on it you know to bring it out and I was going to use a different type of ribbon but I didn't have any to match so tell me what you think guys this is the finished look and I hope that you liked it because um, like I said this is the first time I'm doing it and I hope that y'all enjoyed this and thank y'all so much for watching my 12 days of Christmas and if you're going to try this guys please text and let me know a comment in the comment box and once again thank y'all so much for my faithful subscribers and those who take time to watch and comment i thank y'all so much and if you're new here please don't forget to subscribe thank you guys and i pray that y'all have a blessed prosperous day and bye bye from penny